Hello everybody, welcome to Short Bangers, I'm Matty. Hello, I'm Colin. Hello, I'm John. And I did try to eject a lot of enthusiasm in it, so it's been saying folk to sleep, in case the person who said that isn't a subscriber, and they wouldn't have heard this comment in it. I know. But you know what? Like, it didn't. We laughed at it. Eh? That's the thing. Like, mm-hmm. let, let's not I think talking about it being like that. We're, we're offended at it. No, like, I think. Actually. Well, I think it's a selling point. If anyone mm-hmm. for us, like folks struggle to sleep, and if we could provide mm-hmm. that, we, you're the first person to say. It. A few folk have said this over the years that they listen to us when they're falling asleep. Mm-hmm. Do you know? And I think there's there's apps and services out there. I want to say that one of them is called Calm. People pay good money to fall asleep, and we do this mm-hmm. one for free. Absolutely. That's what I do when I go to my bed. I put, I do put this podcast on, but I put a podcast on my bed. Yeah. And uh, most nights I fall asleep listening to it. Not because it's shite, because it, I just fall asleep listening I've, to people talking. I found myself falling asleep recently playing Xbox, like midway through a game, just really like, sitting in bed and just I wake up mm. at, you know, like a wee while later and be like, fuck's happened here? I'm not a football manager or whatever. But, like, There'll be a, a message up on the screen saying a player's injured and needs subbed. And even like, his player will be like, oh, fucking hell, he's been waiting ages. <laughs> Surprised if they'll be booked. <laughs> they come to the x yeah, what, what, what I tend to do is I open my eyes and go, sub him, and then fall back and sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's get straight to the questions because we've got a few to get through. Right, Brunswick Bill, and the topic is smells. Where do smells go? If you put them in a container that lasts forever, e.g. aerosol cans, jars of fart on eBay. Uh, is that a thing? Jars of fart on eBay? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, do smells go up to a smellosphere like the ozone layer? If so, what will the accumulated smells actually smell like? Very uh, smell oriented discussion this week, eh, given what we talked mm. about in the subscriber one. What do we talk about now? Bacon. Oh, bacon. Do you do you think if there was a smellosphere and like say say there was a like a hot air balloon for example that went up to that layer of the atmosphere and was able to smell that accumulated smell do you think it would smell more sweet sour savory bogging all right indistinct it would be bogging wouldn't it like there's mere i think the rank smells would overpower the nice smells I think that's just Sod's Law as well. <clears throat> it's interesting, we watched a Netflix documentary last night about the, I was going to call it the Howard Webb Telescope, that's the referee, James Webb. <laughs> James Webb. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it please Howard Webb. Someone, please just, someone Photoshop Howard Webb onto or, a, telescope, or a telescope or a Howard, satellite. It's <laughs> fucking amazing. The Howard Webb uh, Telescope. So James Webb. Uh, it's fucking, I don't care how much you know about the James Webb thing. This is, I, I knew of it. I helped build it. It's, I had seen, amazingly, it's not like an extended one. Like, you know, like the pirates have, which would have been even better if it was just like that. Like, in, like a telescope. Is it infrared that it detects? Well, or it points away from the sun or something? There's something distinct about it that marks out from, say, the Hubble. It, it, um, so there's a big sun shield that points away from the sun. But it's got these uh, reflective mirrors that that kind of capture the information, send it to be sensor, which then bounces it back, and then they can sort of deduce everything that they need to to deduce from there. But they were they're like the first image they pointed to a wee bit in it, and they said this is like a star from thirteen and a half billion years ago. It's like just after the Big Bang. Effectively, right? So, but like it allows us to see back in time, and and it makes sense. You can see what. What it would look like in some of the images that they were producing were just fucking phenomenal. But I'm just thinking with Bill's question there that if there is life somewhere else and they're doing something similar and they've put their Howard Webb telescope up in there and it gets to Earth, would it pick up the smellosphere? And they'll be looking, go, this is what we reckon this is what Earth smelled like 400 billion years ago, you know, whenever the information reaches them. Because I think smell will travel slower than light and sound. I guess, right? Just guessing. Mm. Do you hear me in a jar far before you smell it? <laughs> when, like, so, so some folks sell them on eBay, which I've just heard in the last minute or two. Before you start talking about Howard Weber, 
whatever the fuck it was you were just talking about for the last minute. <laughs> And you like that telescope? <laughs> spider's web or something. <laughs> but, so, folk, fat and jars, right? That's where I kind of, like, that. my mind went elsewhere after John said that. Cause I <laughs> so, folks, fat and a jar and sell it. Right? That's what that's what I'm hearing. Is that is that that's correct? Do you think if anybody, they must have then also done it, like, they time capture things, eh? Now, if they know, they missed a trick. Like, proper, like, the day after, a heavy night out, curry, eggs, we are lunch and that. See, in a jar, uh, in the time capsule, and then some fucking poor burn or something opens it. Uh, uh, can, oh, this one's empty. From <laughs> could we do it as like a, a, a section on our next live show? And we we could sort of write down what we've had for dinner, fart in mm. the jar, a couple each, and then. Uh, they guess what is? The, Aye, so that's like a bit of audience participation. So we'll get somebody up. We'll say, right, this was Colin's jar number one. What did Colin have for dinner? And then you open it and they go, ah, oh, beans. Right. Oh, Colin, what did you have? And you go, there's fucking beans, funnily enough. Like that. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> amazing guess. Uh, and then so we could do a whole round on that. Mm. They, uh, when I worked at Aegon, the woman who sat next to me was best pals with the boy that sat next to her, and he had a desk fan, and he would they would play sniff the whiff. So after his lunch, he would burp into the fan and point at her, oh, no. and <laughs> she and she would guess what he'd had for his lunch. That's terrible. Man. What a couple that... of minging fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> sniff the whiff. <laughs> the burping, the burping one's minging, eh? Like. Can a fart one at least you go? Like, I, I, well, I don't think you, that's as bad. Would you rather be farted on or burped on? I think I'd rather be burped on than farted on. Mm. What do you mean on? Like, somebody pressed like against if, you, didn't I, Like, if somebody pinned you down, mm. right? So you're pinned down and mm -hmm. you've got the option of leaning over you and burping in your face or pulling, dropping the trousers mm -hmm. and, and farting in your face. You're taking burp. the burp every time, aren't you? The burp. Uh, see, see, when you said so, I, I, I never thought about dropping the trousers part because I never dropped the trousers to fart. We, we must have farted with dropped trousers before, though. Oh, aye, 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 aye. aye. But I don't and, do it as a matter of course. Like, and, if I'm dressed, and, I'm and this one just for parity, right? Because they're not going to cover their mouth to burp at you. So, mm. therefore, they're not going to cover. Yeah, but, that, but that's just the nature of the thing. Like, you... that, so that's what's happening, right? You can like it or lump it. That's your choices. Mm. No, I'm going for option three. But what was what was option three? So the fat on me bit with the trousers up. All right, Sean, you you went for the burp. Oh, definitely the burp because I was I was thinking the same about like a, a naked fart and I, I don't know what you see. Why would I don't you automatically know. go naked fart? Because, because you know, I'm a deviant. Have you ever seen those like the uh, the the it tends to be like dressing room pranks and that where the, the guys get the it's like they get somebody to do like sit ups or whatever and they'll be doing the sit ups mm. and then on the last one somebody will have dropped the trousers to fart in the faces <laughs> they're lifting their head up and things like that that's mm. kind of what that, that's how I imagined that playing out mm. in that sort of scenario no I see where you're coming from with that but I still it wasn't my initial my initial picture right yeah, you better get back on to finish your whole Deb story. Right. Well, well, all, all I was saying there, like, so it, it can capture uh, light, it can sense what uh, gases and stuff are, are there or minerals. And I was saying that if if a, if there was an equivalent Andrew Lloyd Webber telescope for another species somewhere light years away and they pointed it at Earth, would they go, we've detected there's oxygen, there's carbon dioxide, but there is a smellosphere there as well. And this is, they'll be able to tell, like, from their high tech telescope, what that smellosphere smells like. That was all. Just as that. <laughs> I should have, like, I should have changed the subject. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate that. Bye. Uh, right, I think we're out of time. Right. Uh, Tom Wallace, <laughs> the, uh, the topic is wee pocket. And what's the wee pocket on jeans for? Mm. I, I, I mean, just as before we start, Colin, you, you uh, 
when you consider a question, you say, hmm. Mm. <laughs> so just just pointed that out. I look forward to it at the end of each question because I want to be popular jeans for. Mm. Right, and then, <laughs> right, I'm ready to answer now. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right well, so you won't be answering it now because I never did the that time. No, you never that time. It was the moment it gone. I recently put a packet of mints in that wee pocket. Like just small, like wee, wee plastic tub tic tacs or something. You know, the wee ones you get. Yep. That, that was fitting in there. I just know what it's for though. That's what I used it for. Because what I find is if I put it in my pocket when I'm walking, they rattle. But in there, they're a bit more secure. They, they bounce a bit, a bit more snug. Right. So you're, you're going for what? A tic-tac pocket. Yeah. John? What if it's like a wee bit leftover fabric that they didn't want to waste and they thought, well, we'll make a pocket of it? Could be. But they've I, I used would... the extra studs on it as well, though. Mm. Aye, well, you, you've got to secure it somewhere. You've got to make Aye. it fashionable with the rest of the garment. So, because it's too weak for a phone. Fashionable in, in keeping. Too weak for a phone. You're not going to put uh, your keys in it. Put money into pain in the ash as well, because it's like. But if you if you looked up yet to see why are you having a guess? No, I, I was well. I thought I might well, be like, like uh, Johnny goes back to like. Cowboys and that, and like maybe you wanted a wee room, like room for a wee spare bullet for your gun if you were, I don't know, like maybe a horse was coming after you. It's closer tobacco. than you would think, John. You'd closer than you would think because I've Googled it. What is it for then? So it was to do with cowboys, it was uh, to keep their watches in it because their watch would be in a chain. Ah. So the watch is a watch pocket. There you go, actual factual. For somebody thought of the genius of putting your watch on your wrist. Or on your phone. That'll never catch on. Mm-hmm. Uh Brunswick Bill said, see John saying he's a bad ride. Is that where the word cocksure comes from? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should answer this, John. Um I'm gonna what's the meaning of cocksure? Is that like confident? Um Huh. Yeah, knob certain is like it when it's uh... <laughs> <laughs> It means arrogant, conceited, overconfident. Cocky, oh shit. Smug. Ah, see, I don't know if I'm that. No, nah, I wouldn't say you were that, John. So we're going to say no to that, right? No. Tom Wallace, uh, football on the telly is the subject. What's the best pub in Edinburgh? Uh, City Centre to watch football. We're going to upset somebody with this question. This is one of these ones where you say it and go, oh, it's a shite pub. Or, I, don't, I don't know. I've not been in enough pubs in Edinburgh recently to know. I would, I would say like the Harp, uh, Harp and Castle and Leaf Walk or Robbie's is where I like watching football. But would you say that they were City Centre? No. I would still I would agree. Was that? Is it the Albion Bar? Does he know the answer? Well, I think this is one without an answer. There's a... Uh, Dave Graham said Robbie's when he answers that tweet. I don't know. Like, There's the Sportsters bars now. They're still a bit weird that are sort of nah. set up for that kind of thing. But I always thought a, a, a pub that's set up for watching sport is probably going to be shite to watch sport in. I don't know why I thought that, but I just think if it's set up like that, it's going to be full of fucking arseholes. That... That tended mm. to be my stance on these things, so I avoided. It, it needs to be somewhere like I've not been out to watch football in the pub for ages. The last the last time I actually remember going, it was rugby, and it was it was a place doing leaf, and it was called like the Fly Half or something. And it was, and it's wherever you look, there's a telly, so you can all be sitting at a table, and I'll be watching that telly, and you'll be watching that one. So you're still like facing each other, sort of thing. Uh-huh. You can still have a conversation, but you can still. He didn't know what he'd be sitting like when he's a, like that, trying to see the screen. So get he's, he's, he's be somewhere. Ken, there's a good place to go. Is the Globe on Nidry Street. That's a good place. Because it's got, so it's not got what you've described, Colin, but it's got a few TVs up at the bar. And I think they've got like a couple of like the old sort of like vaults where they've got like rosy tables. And at the end of it, they've got a big screen. 
yeah. like almost like a projector style screen on the the wall. So I would recommend that. What was the pub that for a while? I don't know if it still does, but it had uh, TVs in the urinals, like built in mm. to the urinals. I think Sportsters had that for a while. I think so. I can mind it. I don't think it's like quite a gimmick, but then it was like, that's probably not a bad idea because you don't want to miss anything when you go to the toilet if you're watching the game. Uh, right, Albert Street said, what's the least amount you've spent in one transaction using contactless? I spent 23p at Screwfix once and I felt really guilty. Can you top 23p for your contactless? Oh, I definitely couldn't. It'd probably be like 79p or 99p or something, you know, like a bottle of water or something like that. Five pence. For a, for a bag? For a bag, because nice. I'd bought, I bought an Xbox recently and there was like some sort of deal where I could pay it up and it meant I got access to Game Pass. Yes. And I said to them, like, they sent me away, like, they were going to send me away with like the big Xbox box. I was like, have you got a bag? And they insisted on charging me for it. Like, I've just fucking spent 600 odd quid or so. He's a bag. That gets mad. Kim, what really pisses me off about that? I didn't mind the plastic bag charge. Right, I got over that. But uh, they're not just 5p anymore, eh? Like, the minimum is about 10 or 15 and that. They're even cost 11s, fuck that. But then you go in a place like Primark or McDonald's and that, and they charge you for a paper bag. Mm. That's not what the tax is. Aye, it was for plastic bags. Taxes on plastic. It's no one fucking paper shite you gave me that's got to yeah. tear as soon as I get out of here. So I don't really like how they get away with it. I don't know if you just say I'm not paying that, what they would do. You can, if you say no in the bag, quite often they just give you one, because they just presume that you said yes and they just give you one anyway. Uh, in McDonald's, aye, aye. but not in Primark. Do they not? Do they? If you say I'm not paying for the, I'm not paying for the 5p, 10p, whatever you're charging me for a paper bag, because it's a plastic bag tax. If, if you're charging me that, I'll take one of your plastic bags. But what would they do? Just make you walk out with all your shite? Because you never <laughs> get a P-Mark for like one hang, eh? Yeah. Like, I don't know, in my experience, anyway, when I went in, it's usually like fucking fuck rakes of shite would come at me. Uh, I'd definitely say, I've definitely, uh, I think in Greg's that happened, but, but I'd, I'd got the order, paid for it, and then went, I actually could probably do my bag. And that's never like 5p. I still can't do it. Could never got cash on me. Um, did you get the Series X or the Series S, John? The X. The X. It's good, eh? Mm. I've not got to play it as much as I would have liked, but it's yeah. still good. You fall asleep playing it. Starfield <laughs> is just out on Game Pass. This is, this is kid, waiting. Kids games, Colin. Ah, it's kids so games. It's good. Uh, he's getting his daughter so I'm ready for when she's she's up to it. <laughs> uh, ah, I started that yesterday when it came out. It was uh, it's good. And football managers on it as well. Football managers good on it. Uh, right, fast practice. What's the point in fog? No point. You ever seen the film? The Fog? Yes. I've read the book as well, actually. Have you? Mm. What's the book, the book like? and the film are vastly different. Is it hard to see the pages, John? Uh, uh, right? but, like, I would have hoped that they'd done that. <laughs> like, just the words are all blurry as fuck. Mm. You are, for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> I have to turn the fog light on in the bedroom so I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll let me play what I was up to. <laughs> uh, there's with the bridges. There's a big foghorn sound. So, that, like, if there's boats in, obviously it was foggy the day, and the, our uh, Facebook pages were for the folk complaining about the noise of the. No way. Aye, they were like, "Who's singing that? Who's sounding that horn?" And that's can you saying. can you give us an idea of what it sounded like? Could you mimic it for us? Uh. I couldn't hear it, but I would imagine it would have been like, like that. That's mm. what they normally sound like. Here's the thing, right? We were at um, a place called Kinghorn, which is just past, like, if you go through uh, Aberdour, Burnt Island, I guess the next one after Burnt Island is Kinghorn. And we went out to the, there's like a wee harbour, a wee beach. We went in there with a the dog, and there was like this fucking bang, like a, I don't know. It was like, do you know when, when you go to like a concert and through the distance you can hear the bass going, like boom. It was like this, but it sounded like it was coming from Edinburgh, right? So you can see right across the Leith and Granton and everything through there. I have no idea what it was, but it was like loud as fuck. So it was like so loud that you could hear it from where we were, but de- but definitely not local. Like it wasn't like on the Fife side of the water. And I was like, there's no way that you could hear. A bang like that as regularly 
and folk in Edinburgh will be moaning about it because it would have to have come for there. And I've no fucking idea what it was. So if anybody's listening and Ken's what a big like a regular fucking drum sounding like bang that is audible in faith from Edinburgh, get in touch because I would love to fucking know. I Googled it and everything and I was like, I think Ken what it is. What was it Darren McGregor hitting a punching bag? Getting a wee could bit early in the morning sparring could, in. Could it be that? Could it be that or uh, somebody tapping Stevie Naismith on the head? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that. Uh Right, well, one more question. Why not? Right, uh, from Leo Nice Pudding said, uh, it's absolutely roasting in September. Are the polar bears fucked? I've just realised who Leo Nice Pudding is. <laughs> like, I was thinking, who's this boy you start to send the questions in? And I've just realised what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> do, you think, do you think we can peer know. pressure him into changing his name on Twitter? To Leo Nice Pudding. <laughs> You got to because we had rice cakes. I get like, like I've changed it a few times each time, it's ah. slightly different. That's what I was saying. I see this boy, some new boy that's sending on rakes of questions. He's obviously just discovered this and I've realized who it is right. Leon Ricicles. Mm. Uh, right, I pull the full of us are fucked, though. Yeah. Eh? But it's uh, funny, uh, I mean, like we've not had July and August was shite. Eh? June was nice and September's nice, and that's your but it's funny. Uh, it's, so much it's, is... getting dark, it's getting darker earlier, like. Seems Are they got polar bears at Edinburgh Zoo? Or a polar bear? I think so. Like, what do they do at the zoo to keep animals like that cool? Because it obviously doesn't get up to these sort of temperatures when they're out in the wild. Hmm. You just sort of like turn the air conditioning up and a, fuck global a big, warming a bit more. A big, a big fan going with the zookeeper is randomly burping into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they do they, I have plenty of cold water in that. I don't know. What do you think would, would smell worse? A polar bear's burp or the combined smells for the smellosphere? The, uh, the smellosphere. Because the polar bear's burps from historic ones would all be up there as well. Mm. Mm, that's a good sure. point. Aye. Right. Okay. Sorry if we never got to your question. We are out of time. Uh, there are some good ones. One about Kilt Walk as well, Colin. Men's a Kilt Walk. Is that this weekend? Oh, a week on Sunday, 17th. Aye, on I'll, Sunday. Put this, I'll put the link in. Tell us. Tell us before uh, before we wrap up, but you're doing it. I'm doing it for the Hibernian Community Foundation. Um, it's just the wee wonder, I think they've called it. It's five miles from Gypsy Bray to Murrayfield Stadium. Um, so it's only five miles, but they're just trying to raise money for the Hibs Community uh, Foundation. So the, the link's out there. It's just uh, they, they've put it on the Twitter page the other day, yesterday, the day before, don't know, Aye. this week. Um they just try to raise as much money as they can for it. So my daughter played football, or plays football for the community, so the foundation. So that's how I got roped into it. You could ask us, um, we would have, we, we could have, well, obviously not now, but if you'd asked us back to the time, time we die, we, we could have went as a long bangers one or a short bangers. I thought I did say to you. Did, did you? I, say you? I, nah, I, did. I, I can't imagine you. Do you remember, John? No. Nope. So like if we'd, if we'd had the offer, we'd be the, we could have done stop. it. It's, Aye, this is... now. The lanyards arrived the other day, so Aye. it's uh, probably it feels too like late. Colin's branching out on his own. I've not felt like this since we were the long buyers to Matty Ferry's. <laughs> uh, what was her name? Diana Ross in the Supremes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have anyway. to branch out. I'm going to have to find my own niche somewhere. Like start doing my own thing. I and invite you two along. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, that's all we've got time for. Thanks very much for sending in your questions. Uh, John Cole, thanks for your time tonight, uh, and uh, we will see you next time.